how to remove the back of a Dell Optiplex all-in-one and upgrade the SSD drive. Right guys, this is the, uh, the back. Now, to get this off, there's a little button underneath which obviously this is in the way and we can't show you but you need to basically push the little button or lever forward and then just lift up okay <clears throat> and now I have to stand off okay <clears throat> nice and simple now we've got to this position There's a little clip there where it clips onto the onto the like this metal bracket. So that needs pushing down. <clears throat> and then at the sides there, push up. And off that comes. Now we need a screwdriver. We'll take out this screw here. And we'll start by taking this off. If you want to upgrade the RAM, the RAM, this is the DIM door, and this is the memory slots. There's two slots there. There's already a 16 gigabyte one I have in there. Some people may have an eight and an eight, or four and a four, or just one eight. They are the combination. You can, I believe, put in. You know, they don't have to match eight, four and four and eight and eight. I have managed to put an eight and a four in together, for example, in different machines. As long as it's the same speed, if you can get the same hertz, it, it won't affect the other one. And also, this, you've got the, the dims. This here is for SSD drive, two and a half inch. You can put a, a HDD in if you want to. That's fine. Okay, let's get a screwdriver. These are Phillips screw heads. <clears throat> there's another screw down here. And there's a screw at the back. You need to take this one off. out take this screw out here there's another screw here so there are three screws for this seem to be here and here actually there's another one here this may have five screws in all this one here doesn't, I can't tell if it's connected or not. That's coming up there. There we go. So now we can, you can see the memory module totally open. So we're looking at this one here. This current module is a PCIe um, Gen 3 times 4 an NVMe uh, SK Hynix 256 gig or so there. Now this is the long one, which is the 2280 style, okay? Now, so basically, that's what I'll be replacing. This is uh, one I've decided to get, the Samson. Zoom in a bit for that. This is the one I've decided to get for Samson. 
which is a 500 gigabytes. So it's only double. Uh, I could have gone for a terabyte. But the main reason I went for this was because this one is coming up at um, about 1,400 transfer, where this one is 3,500. So I'll be getting a lot more speed from that. So to take this out, it's a matter of unscrewing this. And then sliding it out. Now I was hoping there'd be two in here so I could have them side by side and then clone the boot up operating system. So I'm basically just going to make sure that I've got a USB stick with Windows 11 on. Once I've got that, then I can install Windows, I can put another drive in and install Windows 11 on that. This is the CPU. I hope this helped guys. Thanks for watching. Any comments please put below.